This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, how can I delete the curves that stay on a model after using an IMM curve brush? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I just have the dog model here loaded in. And the question is asking about using an IMM curve brush. And after you're done with that curve brush, the curves still stay active on the model. So how can I go by removing those curves? So as an example of this, I'm first just going to hop out of perspective here, and I'm gonna go to the brush palette over here and open this up. And in here, I'm gonna select the insert cylinder right here, and then just select that brush here. Now this brush is an IMM curve brush, so it's going to take this IMM part and it's going to duplicate it across the curve that I draw on the model. So if I come across the dog here and simply click and drag, you can see as I drag, I'm gonna generate this curve and then this IMM part is going to be repeated across that curve. Now you can do some other things with an IMM curve brush. So let's say I wanna give the dog a color here. So I'm gonna change my draw size to something a little bit smaller, say around 13. And I'm gonna come across the neck of the dog here and I'm gonna start drawing this out and then I'm gonna hold down the shift key and this is going to allow me to loop a curve around a piece of geometry, so around the dog's neck here. And now when I release, you'll see it's going to now generate that curve and now I have this kind of weird dog color applied to the mesh here. So now let's say I'm happy with where that IMM curve is being applied, and now I wanna go in and start doing some sculpting on the dog. So I'll go to my brush palette again, I'll go to the clay buildup brush, and clear my mask. And now I can start sculpting on my model, but you'll see that the curve still remains on the mesh. So how can I go by getting rid of this curve now? So to get rid of this curve after you've used an IMM brush, there are two ways to do this. The first way is if you still have the IMM curve brush selected, you just need to come anywhere on your model and simply click. So if I drew the curve out here, I now can just come to the backside of the dog here and simply click on the surface of the model, and this will remove that curve. So you can see just a single click will take the curve and remove it. And that functionality will work as long as you still have an IMM curve brush selected. Now let's say you still have that curve on the mesh, but you're using that clay buildup brush, and now you wanna remove the curve. So the other way you can remove a curve from your model is to navigate up here to the stroke palette and open this up. And then we need to go to the curve functions area here. And in here, there is a delete button. And if you click this delete button, it's going to look at the entire subtool you have selected, and it's going to delete or remove any of the curves on your meshes. So by simply clicking delete here, you can see that curve has now been removed as well. So the process again is if you have used an IMM curve brush and applied a curve to your model, and then you've switched to another brush, and then you want to remove the curve that has been left over, you can first either make sure that you still have the IMM curve brush selected and click anywhere on the model that is not the curve, and this will remove that curve, or you can navigate up here to the stroke palette, go to the curve functions area, and then click the delete button, and that will also remove the curve as well. So I hope that helps, and if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing!